the New Zealand election was on Saturday between Labor's Chris Hipkins and National's Christopher Luxon. It was a massive night and massive coverage. We not only have the best analysis on offer for you tonight, but we also have state-of-the-art graphics to help us <laughs> interpret the results. State-of-the-art graphics? Let's take a look at those graphics. Down. Down. <laughs> 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 Laser Kiwi. Special for 2023. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Laser Kiwi. Yes. <laughs> they also had a giant poo eating bug. Did they crazy. really? <laughs> so at the end of the day, what was the result? Well, it was a big win for the National Party, or in other words. We've got a big, big, big blue wave coming. It could be a blue Nami. When the blue Nami is on, it is a blue Nami. This is what happens when there is a blue Nami. This blue Nami. The blue Nami is on. Right, if it's a blue uh, Nami. Yes. yes. <laughs> Blue Man Army. I would have gone with a Poon Army, but anyway. <laughs> Meanwhile, for the Labour Party... Slow drip of red. It's not even a puddle. It's not even acceptable to call it a puddle, what's happening out here. That red wave has become a puddle. OK. Wow. <laughs> Look, it is election night. It is all about the numbers. And the food. You've got some pretty good snacks here tonight. $60 worth of snacks. Some chippies. Some sushi. Some sausages. Pork and fennel sausages. Bread rolls and... Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. Sausage rolls. <laughs> On sausage rolls, what? Now. I've already passed on crayfish risotto. Lamb and chicken. Chicken, chicken. Chicken. Chicken, beef or fish. <laughs> what did we have earlier? Some ceviche. We've just had a delivery of pizza. 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 Four pizzas. Pies. And a glass of champagne. 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 It might be Prosecco. The wine bar is flowing. The ceviche is flowing. I'm going to come to you in a second, Stuart Nash, and I'm also going to come to you in a second, Paula Bennett, but I want to show you my biscuit first. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Is it an election or a food festival? I, I got really hungry watching that, actually. <laughs> but across New Zealand, reporters were covering the big occasion. Nick Truebridge is live from the Duke of Marlborough, where Winston Peters is due to arrive shortly. Is it Chumbawamba? <laughs> Chumbawamba. Crossing live to Chumbawamba. Well, look, it was a massive night. What about some of the minor parties? Well, it was a rough campaign trail for the leader of ACT, David Seymour. We'll continue to destroy the environment. You've had your say now. Now, would it be OK if I continue to talk to these guys? Would that be a respectful way to continue? We'll stand in the background. And stand in the background, <laughs> they did Simon's <laughs> party. <laughs> <laughs> David Seymour was staying optimistic. I actually think it's a wonderful thing. It's yes. a wonderful thing. <laughs> Sounds like something a fucking idiot would say. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, he, he gets down, but he gets up again. Yeah. And, <laughs> in the words of Chumbawamba. <laughs> Look, other reporters were outside the two main party leaders' house. Their okay. numbers were dropping. We to we're going to go to, to Amanda Gillies right Amanda. now, yeah, who yeah. is with Christopher Luxon outside of his house. Amanda. I think we've got some movement there. Let's check in. Hi, Jordan, Amanda. Uh, Ryan and Sam. No sign of Christopher Luxon <laughs> at this point. Right. But the pizzas are yes. nearby, which is good. Uh, any update on Carmen San Diego? <laughs> <laughs> what? Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? You don't remember that game? I don't know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what Crepe Suzette was a minute ago, so. You were the one who brought it up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what comes out of my mouth. Who's, who's Carmen what? Carmen San Diego. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? It's a game you try Just to Just repeating the title doesn't tell me what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's move on. And look, meanwhile, outside Chris Hipkins' house. Is there any sign of him, Baz? No sign of Chris Hipkins yet, but I can answer the question that's on everyone in New Zealand's mind right now. Yes, there are sausage rolls. <laughs> That, that is tremendous news, Bez. Tremendous news. Yes. Great update. Uh, I'm starting to think that red puddle was just tomato sauce. <laughs> yeah, my <laughs> Many were waiting for Hipkins to emerge after some pretty bad numbers for the Labour Party. Great Got these, time. Um, yeah, we're waiting for Chris, Hipton, uh, Chris Hipkins to come out of his house. It's so dire, he's living in his van. Wow. So, <laughs> that's really tough. Good news, that van won reverse parallel park of the year. <laughs> So New Zealand has a new leader and all eyes were on the incoming Prime Minister. The new, this it's is rough. the new Prime Minister coming in and he is arriving at National Party headquarters in Auckland. We're going live there right now to these live pictures. This will be your 42nd Prime Minister, the National Leader. No, that's Nancy Davies, our wonderful <laughs> producer. Actually. 
it's a Nancy Nami. It's wow. amazing. <laughs> it was a massive day for the National Party and for their deputy leader, Nicola Willis. I'm so fortunate. Uh, today I got to go and see the Northland Amateur Theatre Society production of Peter Pan. Wow. And watch three of my children star. And of course, yeah. that was the major event of the day. <laughs> so celebrations for the National Party. And for the Labour Party. We'll start at Labour's headquarters where Benedict Collins is tonight. Benedict, a bit of a sombre vibe there. Yes, yeah, sombre might be overstating it a little bit even. Um, this really is sad school. Um, look, people haven't really even hung around. They've packed up. There were a few uh, beer bottles on a table here behind me, but even they've gone home. <laughs> Even the beer bottles yeah. have gone home. I get knocked down. down. <laughs> and I get up again. So a dramatic election night, and I think Paddy Gower summed it up best. Well, roses are red, Labour is too, but the message from the New Zealand public, look at this, 33 seats. The message from the New Zealand public is, Chris Hipkins, people don't really like you, not enough of them anyway. <laughs> Not the, the best ending. Yes, the rhyming scheme was a bit off. How do we make that poem a little bit better? Roses are red, Labour is too. More poo is coming to waters near you.